Day 9, unfortunately, is a horde night for us, even though in the previous episode it was not, okay? So because I had to completely restart everything, this is what happened. This is now what I have in my inventory. This is my armor that I actually know how to use and equip now. I just go out and I can just actually make it, which is fantastic. I don't know what level I was before. I don't know how many times I died before. Um, so this is all the stats I'm showing right now. And these are the skill points I have right now. I just go one by one through here. Okay. That's all the skill points I have currently. I don't know what they were from last time because I didn't record the... Most of the time I didn't record every time I put a skill point into a certain perk or tree or whatever. So this is what it is right now. And hopefully it is still similar to what it was. These are all the books I've read now. And these are all the other crafting books I've read now. All this. Okay. So I don't know how any of it was before, but that's how it is. I am still currently only need to do, I think, 20, 22 out of 30. From the last episode, we did 22 out of 30 uh, quests. So we're still at that specific stage. We're just going to do this Horde Knight one last time in this base. Because I've completely changed everything about the base. And I've started doing like cobblestone stuff with it. And uh, well, here comes the hoard right now, actually. So I don't know how any of it was like before. Uh, I do notice that they were trying to make stairs up to me because they couldn't reach me with my new platform right here. So they're trying to use these stairs still. Most of the time, they're still trying to attack the wall. But if I stand right here and do this, and there we go. So just start doing that. Maybe upgrading to the cobblestone wall was not a good idea because I already broke that one. That's not good. And I have this whole floor open so I can just walk all over it. Go wherever I need to go. You shoot things. It's great. It's fantastic. They're trying to make stairs over there too. They're trying to make stairs over there. That wall I did by accident. They're trying to make stairs. They're trying to make stairs to get up to me. It's actually interesting. I didn't think that the zombies would be that smart, but here we are. Zombies are that smart in this game. I have a lot of ammo, so I'm not really concerned about using all this by the way i have a lot of ammo i also made iron arrows instead yeah i did a lot of stuff since the last video my brain is like super super smart when i'm not under pressure of things and i'm actually thinking about what to do and when to do it but when i start recording my brain's like nah let's just go to mush <laughs> time to mush it up bruh i don't have a scope and i don't have my silencer either i'm also i'm actually really sad about that i don't have my scope or silencer I don't have uh, any storage mods, like pocket mods, I should say. So the pocket mod that I did have, it's I don't have it anymore on this run through, playthrough, I should say. Uh, the scope I just found, the silencer I just found, I cannot make either of them right now. I'm quite sad. But we are still trying to go with the whole uh, knife and rifle setup that I got going. While also trying to put points into other things that I think might be helpful, but I'm not. I'm gonna be honest. I don't even know what the hell I'm doing. I don't really know what I'm doing. Like I just figured out that I could craft my own armor. I'm just gonna just show you it now. I could craft literally my own armor. So I have these for increased XP, and with the mod on there, this mod right here, I get 10% more XP plus five loot stages and minus one treasure radius, which is good. I don't. I'm not gonna treasure anyway. This one it gives me. Uh, extra skill point chance by 5%, which is whatever. But I have a mod on there that increase, increases my reload speed. And then for this one, this one just gives me extra melee weapon damage. And this one is max stamina boost. And my mod on there reduces the noise by 5%. That's pretty much all I have on there at the moment. Um, debating on if I want to continue with that or not. I'm going to be honest. I should have had I should have had this on when I went across the street over there to that crack of book. And just read, I read every single book in there. And unfortunately, because of my lack of the knowledge, because of my lack of knowledge about the game, um, I completely fucking botched that. So I could have had way more points into so many more things if I had known that I could, like, if I had known that there was specific armor that does specific things, which also means that I could probably be putting my points into just bad point slots. And I, I wouldn't even know. But that's the fun of the game. You know, you just got to learn. Learning as you go. That's just how it is. God damn it. I hate dogs. I still hate dogs. I will always hate dogs. Dogs can actually suck one. I've also been selling armor. And I have now, since then, been scrapping armor. Because I want these armor plates to make armor armor kits. 
And the more kits I have of these, the more I can upgrade the armors to like level one, two, and three and stuff. And I'm hoping to find a lot more. So when we do armor, well, when we go back to looting stuff, I'm not going to be just throwing away the armor parts because I actually need those 100%. I don't know where the hell these guys went now. Oh, hey there. There we go. Another successful poor night. Most of that's probably going to get kicked, uh, cut out because I wasn't really talking. I didn't really have anything to talk about after that, after I showed up my armor and stuff. But we're just going to finish up all these zombies right here. Come on over here, ma'am. Oh, you ain't as strong as what you thought you were in the during the horde. But yeah, that's what they're trying to do is they're trying to make stairs. Uh, sometimes when they pile up on top of each other, they uh, they don't make stairs anymore and they start making like just random holes, which kind of works in my favor, to be honest. So I'm going to just shoot this bird out of the fucking sky. See you later. I quickly made the dew collector. The forge and the workbench all at the same time so now the dude collector i managed to do every all those all three of those in the first area and then i came over here into the second area okay so i have all that in the dude collector this is my claim block uh claim block which i now know that i have to actually place it to pick up my other stuff in this in the base that i have and i believe i can have more than one land claim block i can because my other one's over there okay so i can uh there's nothing in there i have everything in here and i have everything in here okay so we're pretty much ready to go in the next episode this one was just a nice little quick um like hey i kind of messed up type of thing here's what we have to do now i also got this water purifier mod which uh if i get if i upgrade my hat which i would like to i'm not sure if this is going to be good after a while i mean this is just a two percent xp increase if i can if i can find another hat i definitely will so we'll invest our points into that our level what 30 point is that what we level are now we're level 30. so our level 30 point will be invested into lock picking because we're gonna get like treasures and stuff now and i want to try and find safes and actually lock pick the safes so just gonna recap again this is all the points i have right now and all of these things at the moment i don't know what they were last time so i'm trying to get as close as i can i should probably put stuff into here i probably had maybe three in there already so that's probably one where i messed up on but i should definitely put two into there so our next two points gonna be into archery so i can actually get that higher damage but this is what it is currently i tried to keep it as close as i could trying to remember what i actually had i think i already showed all that i'm pretty sure i did but there you go okay so that's that i have this this hunting rifle level four hunting rifle i still got a primitive bow i got a level three hunting knife uh, a level two wrench a claw a stone shovel and a stone axe okay that's all the stuff i have right now we're going to go into the next episode like this because like i said i don't know how many times like shit just happens but because the video is so short i'm gonna throw in one more thing here if you go to seven days to dies mod seven days to die mods okay the right way um all i do in here if you want to know what my hud is i went to the search box type in hud and then i scrolled down until i found this one right here the hud replacement mod clicked on that scrolled down all the way then I clicked download it downloaded it I should still have it download let me see uh, I do I have them both right here so this requires this is the main HUD and this HUD requires the SMX core so you got to click on that roll all the way down download that too and then once you do you'll have them right here all you do then we're just gonna close out of this all you do then is you got to open up your seven days to die folder where the mods are so all you do is this pc os program files theme theme apps common seven days to die mods and then the two mods i have are right here i'm going to delete everything in this folder just so you know that it actually works you're going to double click this open up this box you're then going to double click and then highlight both of these i'm, I'm going to hold shift and click them both and then just drag them into the folder just like that close then go to the next one double click click into this we don't need to hold shift here we just got to click and drag into this folder 
and then close, close, close. Go back to Steam. When you click play, Steam is going to say, hey, you have mods installed. Do you want to disable easy anti-cheat? You're going to click OK. You could also go to this, this icon right here, click properties, go down to launch game without EAC, and then just click play. And then it won't, it won't pop up that question. It'll just launch it without the easy anti-cheat. Just click on the screen and then wait for it to load. Okay. Okay, click continue. Continue game or make a new game if you make it a new game. Uh start and then once you see your screen go like this, this is how you know that the mod is working. The only mod I have on here is the HUD mod and you already know what that looks like because it just showed an entire port clip. So there you go. All right. So, again, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe for some more, and I'll see you guys in the next seven days to die episode take care and bye bye i got nightmares in my head i fear that the thoughts build up until i can't hear that my mind fills up into a creature and it haunts me somewhere much deeper i've been feeling weird i can't seem to focus good enough nothing's really clear sometimes it could be a little